Move it. Move your origin. So your sine curve has now transformed or moved. Okay? Now, for example, here we go. And I would encourage you to be, to have a pencil for this. Because I think it's helpful. My opinion. I'm going to turn on the light. Hit those lights, Wells. This okay? Is the, this is the fifth one. Okay, good. Here is your C value. Your C value moves your origin horizontally. Remember, if it's minus, it's moving minus something, it's going to move to the right. Remember that concept where we moved the, the parabola or we moved uh, the vertex? And if it's plus something, it moves to the plus C. Uh, plus c and minus c. So in this case, here's 2 pi, here's pi, da da da. My origin is moving to the left, to the left pi. So instead of my origin being here, now I'm going to have an origin, a vertical axis there. So I've shifted everything to the to the right in this case, left this case, excuse me. Now the D value moves your origin up and down. Plus D would move up, minus D would move down. So in this case, I'm going to move which direction? Up two. So now I'm drawing a little dotted line here. Why am I using dotted lines? Because what's my new origin? What's my origin now? Exactly. My origin now will be negative pi, positive 2. And to be honest, once you move your origin, and you've shifted the graph, you are completely done with this stuff. Now I just graph y equals sine x from that new origin. That's where it becomes a little bit confusing. And that's why I draw these little dotted axes so I can see. Sine, sine curve always starts where? Zero. zero, zero. Well, what's my new zero, zero or my new origin? It's right here. How high, and how, low, how high and how low am I going from this new origin? Up one, down one. And I'm going from negative pi to 2 pi. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go up one. Every other one is, which is kind of a lie now, isn't it? There's a full sine curve. And then it becomes repetitive. I'm at zero here. I'm going to go up one. And I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to go down one. And zero. And I'm going to stop there. This is the hardest concept. Is when you shift everything and you move it. You're taking your sine curve and you're shifting it over. I can't go up. I guess I gotta go this way. This way, and then you gotta go up and now graph it. Some people graph it and then move the whole thing. After I've done that, then I'll erase these axes. Because all they're used for is to help you graph. Yeah. I love the blank stairs. It's, it makes me feel pretty good. Let's do this one real quick. This is number this is 20. Uh, exactly. Okay. Here we go. Question number one, what's my amplitude? Amplitude is... One. Everybody agree? 
Okay? What's my period? What's my period? Yes, you do. One. How do you find period? You take 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b. What's your b value here? 1. What's 2 pi divided by 1? 2 pi. So my period is 2 pi. What's my origin, new origin, going to be? 2. Well, did I move left or right, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Our left or right, remember, look at our labels. They're going to be in radians. There's no radians here, so it's going to be 0 and then negative 2. So all I've done is taken my sine curve and moved it down. Every point, I'm going to show you two ways real quick. One is take your point and graph it, just like a normal sine curve. And then move every one of them. Not left. Down two. Down two. So once you do it, then you can erase it. Move this. That is one. So it's going to move down two. Down two. That's one way of doing it. I don't ever do it that way. I'll be honest with you. I do my or or move my origin, which would be a new horizontal line right there. That's it. From there. Starts at zero. Go up one, zero, down one, zero. Same thing. Down zero. Origins based on your C and D value. This one only has a D value. Okay. Wait, but I thought X minus D was the C value. No. C value will only be in radians. Because that's your horizontal movement. Yeah. Look at every label on your horizontal axis. Okay. It's all radians. This, your C value will always be in radians. Can you get through the packet? I think you can get through the packet before you walk out. I'll come around and help.